Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about... Mm -mm. Okay, y'all. So, gentlemen wrote in to me today about sex. Really? Sex? Are we not spending enough time on sex? Oh, I love me, me, me. Well, let's pull it. I'm going to reel it in. I'm tightening it up. We're going to conquer this topic today. Let's talk about sex. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all. Welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So, the gentleman wrote a question in to me about sex. So, he's been dating this young lady for a little while. The lady may not be as sexually active as the guy. She may not be into or experienced in different positions. Maybe um, the guy is too large. Maybe she's afraid it will hurt. Immediately, I thought of anal right there. Immediately. And anyway, moving on. She shies away from sex or makes excuses not to have sex. She won't be spontaneous or willing to try new things. She doesn't want to satisfy his needs. She seems lazy in bed and not... Nope. And <laughs> she seems lazy in bed and not motivated. She rushes sex to be over fast, etc. And um, the guy is saying, bottom line, is making him feel like he wants to cheat on the young lady because she's not willing to be that open with him um, sexually. So let's just, immediately to me, it actually sounds like the girl has some deep-seated issues when it comes to sex. Um, before I give you my reasonings behind it, I want to definitely ask you, to have a conversation with your young lady about your feelings and definitely your thoughts and make sure that you also let her know that you've been thinking about stepping outside of your relationship to get some of your sexual needs met. And like I tell the women, you have to be loving and understanding. Go to her in a very respectful manner. Don't, um, you know, don't put her down because you're really trying to get to the bottom or the root of the actual issue. It's really not about um, you getting pleased per se, but if you're in the relationship for the long haul and you truly care about this young lady, then you have to be willing to help her out. And in turn, guess what she's gonna do? She's gonna be willing and wanting to help you out because you're not, Basically, you're not making it a selfish motive only for you to be satisfied. We all want somebody to stand in our corner, especially when things are not going as right as we think that they should be. And you also have to be willing to try to understand, truly understand who your partner is and why she's shying away from sex, why she's not willing to try any um, of the sexual positions that you want to try. Um, she just, she rushes with sex. So you have to really get to the root of it and not make it a selfish motive. Maybe she actually needs to go and talk to somebody professionally, somebody, um, and maybe not somebody who actually is like a therapist or anything, but maybe some of her trusted friends and family members so she can actually get some of this off of her chest. Because a lot of times you want your partner to be there for you and not judge you. And so she might be able to tell a stranger just to get it off her chest about why. Why she shies away, why she's not willing to try any sexual positions, etc., etc. So the very first thing that actually came to my mind is maybe she actually started having sex later on in life. That actually makes a difference with how you are, whether you're green, as we say, or like to just have the vanilla sex, which is actually just missionary. Missionary and vanilla go hand in hand. Um, if you start later in life, you're not as experienced and she might be a little intimidated because you do have all of this experience under your belt. She doesn't want to let you down, even though that's inadvertently, that's exactly what she's doing. But she's shying away from it because she started later in life and she 
doesn't really know what to do. She isn't comfortable with her body. She's not comfortable in her own skin. So when it comes to sex, she is not feeling sexy during sex, which is why she rushes it and gets it over with. It's actually like, it, it sounds to me like it's um just a task. It's nothing that is actually appealing or fulfilling to her. So she's really doing it for you. The second thing that actually came to mind is, do you know if she's ever been raped or um, molested as a child or as an adult? That can actually play a part in why she's shying away from sex. Although she's doing it, she's not doing um, what you like. Maybe she's been raped or molested before. So these are the serious questions that you have to ask in order to really get to know your partner and try to understand her and why she's doing these things. The third thing that I thought is maybe she had overly religious parents or the people that actually raised her. Maybe they were overly religious and they told her that doing all of these sexual things were unnatural and they're actually dirty and, you know, just all of the negative things that some people have a tendency to tell children. And it stuck with her. The fourth thing that I actually thought about is maybe she is conditioned from a previous relationship. And you have not made it a safe environment for her to actually open up and really enjoy sex with you. It could because it wasn't about her in her last relationship. It wasn't about um, her, her orgasm, her having an orgasm. It was all about the man. It was all about her pleasing the man's needs. So forget about her needs. The fifth thing is you didn't say, but do you guys have cultural differences? You know, some, some cultures only like missionaries. You know, that's what they do. Because again, it's not about the woman. Any sexual gratification for her, it's all about the man. So, could be some cultural differences there. Although sex is really important in any relationship, you have to know that with anybody that you get with, you are not going to get 100% of anything that you want from a relationship. We are very, very, very good and blessed if we get 70 to 80% of what we want from our relationships. That's an actually really healthy relationship. So is this person someone that you're willing to, to lose all because you're unwilling to compromise or hold out or actually get her comfortable enough to explore these sexual fantasies that you have or sexual needs that you have is she willing are you willing to actually lose her because of it because this could be something that you're dealing with but maybe she's actually the person that one time she finds you cheating she's gone out the door and now you lost this really great person she had all of these positives and you lost her for this one thing that she's not doing so basically what I'm trying to say is weigh the odds. Actually, I'll give you a task to do. Write down all of her positive traits versus her negative traits. If her negative traits outweigh the good traits, then maybe it's time for you to just move on, period. But if the positive traits outweigh the negative, then you should really think about your decision as far as cheating because to me cheating is never the choice i know that you said in in um your message that she's not willing to try at all but is she really not willing to try at all or is it because she won't try everything that you want that you see her not trying at all like i just want you to think about it and give her credit when credit is due if she's doing well in some areas, then maybe you're only going to get that from her. Because believe it or not, everybody's not kinky. And you actually need to really explain what it is. 
and why you need these particular things. Because some people only get an erection if they're getting spanked. Some people only get an erection if they do bondage and all of this stuff. There are men out there who cannot get an erection unless they're doing something that's considered kinky or a fetish. Are you one of those men? I mean, the point of all of this is just for you to recognize who you are and what you actually need versus what you actually want. So is this something that you need or is it something that you want? And again, is she willing, are you willing to risk losing her because you want it? I'm just trying to give you some things to think about. That's all I'm saying. At the end of the day, you got to make your own decision of what you want to do. Whether it's cheat or actually stay there and try to get to the root of it. You have to make all of those decisions on your own. I'm just giving you things to think about. I will actually do a piggyback video about sexual compatibility and the types of questions that you should ask. I'm absolutely going to tell you to pray about your situation. I hope that you are a praying person. Pray about your situation and don't move too quickly because without God's guidance is usually when we start to get in trouble because we start to do it on our own and we get in a worse situation than we were when we first started out. So give me a thumbs up because it helps me out lots, especially if you're taking in this information and it is speaking directly to you. And if this is your very first time on I Love Me, 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 and you enjoyed this content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel because this is the way that you stay up to date with my thought-provoking relationship content. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for commenting and sharing with your friends. I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute.